this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen, this is Kotobuki Jake, Hey, and we're here to show you what they got. Yes. So today, well, it's an interesting day, decent release week, mm -hmm. not the massive dump that we had last time, and alas, no Gundam. No Gundam at all. But we do have other things. Indeed. Let's take a look. Start us off with this fun stuff. <laughs> well, nothing here will be as fun as the release news I just read, where Media Blasters is putting Aiken back into production. <laughs> you know what's odd is I wanted that train wreck for a long time. I know. <laughs> also, Jungle No Iku, which... Uh, if I find but, but, something, I, I'm going to have to put a picture of saw, one of those two up there. We saw a top it. ten once. It was like the weirdest anime, I think was the thing. Yeah. I think this was the one that introduced us to Cat Soup and some of these others. And I think they had Aiken on the list. God. And <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, yeah, like you said, a train wreck of uh, epic proportions, They're in a manner wrecks. of speaking. <laughs> um, but... This week, uh, in my my little bit of anime news for this week, I know at some point in the past we discussed the release of Konohana Kitan from Funimation. I don't remember what we said. Uh, I have nothing to add to that, except that this week it's 
being deemed an essential release. Oh, indeed. <laughs> well, uh, not much else to say about some of these. <laughs> some of them are really good, some of them are not. Mm -hmm. uh, Yu Yu Hakusho is completing its uh, run ah. uh, with its fourth season going out on Steelbook, so you can get all of that series on Steelbook, all 112 episodes. I might have to, because I don't have the show yet. I mean, I got my dirt cheap. <laughs> I mean, this is the dirt cheap version. Yeah. But, um, still, not too bad. All they've got left is that OVA set with the movies, which mm. I'm sure they're going to release, because they've been sticking to this release schedule. That's the only one left. So the next one's probably going to be the OVA plus the movie. Not Poltergeist Report. That's a separate thing. Oh. Uh, and, uh, it'll be done. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, speaking of series getting continued release this week, um, DC... What do they call that channel again? Is it... Uh, DC something. I don't remember. It's, it's, it's on demand. Yeah. Sorry, DC fans. I can't remember what your channel's called. But whatever the case, their original series, Titans, is getting its second season release this week. I want to see this yeah. show, and I've heard good things about it. It is on my agenda. I'll pick it up one day, probably when I can get both volumes. Well, they never do that on Black Friday. But I know you're waiting on the Harley Quinn cartoon to get released. Oh, I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually heard it's pretty good. So Yeah, so have I. Um, and I, I read something this week about um, Margot Robbie was wondering... Well, is it going to be too similar to our movie? And they told her something about it, and she said, Oh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I just thought that was kind of funny. But, um, yeah, Titans. Check it out. So, next up is a set that Kino is releasing. Very cool. So, Kino is doing another journey. <laughs> and that is Sergio Leone's a five film collection three of which are the man with no name trilogy a mm -hmm. fistful of dollars a few dollars more which you know yojimbo sanjiro pretty much and the good the bad and the ugly i don't think he took that one off of one no but that one to me is the best of the three mm -hmm. they are amazing films brilliantly acted and wonderful music uh I don't care for westerns that much, mm. but I really like the Clint Eastwood westerns. Mm. Uh, just something about it. But also, on top of that, it's Once Upon a Time in the West, mm -hmm. which is a classic that needs to be watched. Mm -hmm. And I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. <laughs> I do have it. And I hate to say it, I can't remember if I've seen it. I think I did. <laughs> I've never seen Fistful of Dynamite or heard of it until then. But I've never seen it. I'm sure one of you has, so please tell us about it in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, uh, as far as the others, they are classics. Mm -hmm. I've seen all of them except for Fistful of Dynamite. Mm -hmm. But I need to actually get a copy of that. And I'd like mm -hmm. to upgrade because right now I have this really cheap mm -hmm. <laughs> version. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're like the single releases. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you can see this one's upside down here. All right. But, uh, and I really, we really need to cover these on Inside Movies Galore. Yeah, we do. Oh, never mind, it's a two-sider. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, Inside Movies Galore, we need to cover the, these. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be an excuse to get in when Kino does a sale. I'll have to pick that up. See, the problem is I had that really nice little mini set of The Man With No Name that I just picked up. And if I recall correctly, I think how uh, Once Upon a Time in the West... I think is part of a two film collection that mm -hmm. I already have. They did. So really, the Fistful of Dynamite is the only one I'm missing, and getting a complete collection wouldn't add anything. But Kino Lorber is pretty awesome. Yeah. Depending on the bonus features, this might be worth getting as an, an addendum. I would just want to get the transfer. Right. I think they released it with Gettysburg. I could be wrong. Gettysburg. Or something like that. That's been. A That's random. I know, but I know that there was a set because they advertised it on TV. I need to see Gettysburg. I have a copy of Gettysburg that needs to be watched. Um, my, I also have a release of an older film from a marquee uh, distributor. 
Uh, Arrow is releasing the old film Kansas City, which um, I do not honestly... It's a Robert Altman film, which that right there tells you that it's awesome. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, not necessarily awesome, awesome, because Altman's films were a bit of a mixed bag, but they were good films. He... He could handle a large cast like nobody. I mean, it's just really uh, impressive sometimes. the. Um, and speaking of large cast, the film stars Jennifer Jason Lee, but among the rather sizable supporting cast, you've got Miranda Richardson, Harry Belafonte, Dermot Moroni, Steve Buscemi, Jane Adams. A whole bunch of people I've never heard of, but still, <laughs> that's. Um, but you get the idea. That's a pretty interesting cast right there, and the film overall is not his most popular film, but it's pretty decently. IMDb's description: A pair of kidnappings expose the complex power dynamics within the corrupt and unpredictable workings of 1930s Kansas City. Hmm. So, look at it this way. The other big project that features Buscemi and corruption in the 1930s, Projects. You can look at Miller's Crossing and Boardwalk Empire. If this film can join those just fine, that's cool. (laughs) A new release for the Eureka 7 series, if Mm -hmm. you want to continue on with that series, fairly high rated, Mm -hmm. is Anemone. Anemone. Uh, Anemone. Uh, Eureka 7, <laughs> High Evolution. And, you know, it's hard to keep up with all of the releases. There's a mm-hmm. lot of them. There are. And uh, I've got a lot. I've got the majority, so it's on my list. Mm-hmm. But um, who knows when I'll get it. I don't recall if I've even started that franchise, but I intend to. <laughs> I need to watch it. I've got, I got a whole bunch of it. Mm. It's pretty good from what people say. Good deal. My last two are our pair of films that came out last year that both are uh, caught my attention in, in various ways. One, because I knew something of the subject matter, and one because it was very, very highly rated. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, neither one will be watched before we do our list of the best films of the year next week. But... Uh, Dark Waters is a film starring Mark Ruffalo that is based on the same events as last year's documentary, The Devil You Know. Yeah. No, the year before last. Whatever. And The Devil You Know, I did see. And that was a really impressive film about DuPont Chemical and the things they did that completely... They did some b- bad, bad yeah. stuff. And it really impacted uh, local residents in West Virginia and I believe Ohio and but the 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 overall impact is much more far reaching than that. You watch that film, it makes you wonder if you ever want to use a DuPont product in but they're everywhere, so you can't really ignore it, unfortunately. But uh, Dark Waters is a fictionalized attempt at that story and the the I believe specifically the lawsuit that really brought everything to light. Mm -hmm. Um, It didn't really get a lot of attention when it came out. And I don't know. No one really said it was bad, but no one really talked (laughs) about it. But I will see it just on basis of the subject matter. And Ruffalo's an awesome actor, so, yeah. yeah. Well, Pixar is continuing its 4K release schedule. Uh Uh-huh. And I am going to show them all to you right now. Aren't they pretty? Oh, where were you hiding those? In any case, <laughs> um, the films, of course, releasing are Bugs Life, Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, Up, mm-hmm. and WALL-E. All spectacular films mm-hmm. in their own light, right? Um, well, Up and WALL-E, just straight up spectacular And, and of course, the best film that Pixar has ever released, A Bugs Life... Now that one, I gotta wonder how that'll look on 4K, though. I don't know. Sometimes you don't want to go 4K <laughs> right. with the release. The others, though, I can imagine will Actually, be 
I gotta wonder how my toys, uh, how Toy Story is gonna look on 4K when I get it. Yeah, that is an old. It does look good on Blu-ray. So maybe, yeah. maybe. And I still need. I am still missing Monsters University and A Bug's Life. I'm starting to collect 4K if they have a Blu-ray option and it's the best option available. Yeah. But I'm not going out of my way until I get a proper player. But uh, Monsters University, this will be a good opportunity on that one. And I did finally mm -hmm. upgrade all my Pixar stuff to Blu-ray mm -hmm. or 4K. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's actually good that it's up upgraded. I don't feel mm -hmm. like I need to jump to 4K unless it's an easy opportunity. I mean, I think right. these Toy Story ones, right. I don't know whether they're 4K or not. Uh, yeah, they are 4K. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, but they were kind of... That was they too were, good a deal to... I mean, they were cheap as all get. And they have a Blu-ray option. So yeah. That's, yeah. Um, which is why I went ahead and moved on Zootopia and Moana for that sale, yeah. Um, and then, uh, well, was that all you were going to do on those? Or? Yeah, that's okay. all I got to say okay. about that. <laughs> <laughs> and my last one is a movie, like I said, got really incredible reviews. Um, it's called Queen and Slim. And um, I, I have to admit, this is one that probably would have flown past me if, I, if it had not been for the reviews. Um, it is one that I want to see. and stars Daniel Kaluuya of um, Get Out and um, Black Panther fame, hmm. uh, as well as Jodie Turner-Smith and Bokeem Woodbine. And this fascinates me. Uh, well, Chloe Sevigny... But you have two very, very different musicians in the cast, Flea and Sturgill Simpson. <laughs> and I'm just amused by this. But this is a movie, um, the, the um, IMDb description, a couple's first date takes an unexpected turn when a police officer pulls them over. I had heard that this was a film that really gets into the race relations and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kaluuya is perfect proving himself to be a solid actor. Um, so I'm very curious about this one. I'd like to give it a go. I don't know if it'll be a fun movie, but it'll be worth a watch. Hmm. So, one that I would have gotten on if I hadn't already mm -hmm. uh, gotten the nice sets for it would be Aria. Because Aria did a wonderful mm -hmm. clean-up Blu-ray with an English dub and they went all out. They had the Kickstarter. And, of course, mm -hmm. you can see some of the fruits of that labor here with mm -hmm. a standard-type Blu-ray release. Um, kind of like they did with Skip Beat. But yeah. in that case, there was no previous edition. So we were happy to kick out that, yeah. that money. <laughs> and you see, I have an edition right here. As you can see, It's it's a, this one's an out-of-print edition. Mm -hmm. This is the one that's released. is Aria the Animation, which is the first series. Mm -hmm. And it's a 13 episode series, and you can see these. This is a pretty nice set. Still mm -hmm. got, it's got a good booklet to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm really not that eager to change out for mm -hmm. standard Blu ray set, even if it does have the dub. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this one, I can't rem I don't think, yeah, I didn't think they would have dub on this. And it's mm -hmm. pretty decent. It's sort of like I think a, that was part of what the Kickstarter said, yeah, for was, was to fund a dub. dub. Yeah. And this is, you know, essentially about these people who are on this aquatic planet, and mm -hmm. they made this new Venice, and these girls are learning to be gondola masters, mm -hmm. and uh, that's about all there is to it. Mm. It's it's a pretty nifty little show. And nifty. Enjoyable. Not not mm -hmm. the best show that I've had, but it's not the worst show either. Right. It's pretty much in between. <laughs> Good deal. And, of course, the initial release was a Knows of Me Right stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Pied Piper, the group behind Skip Beat, um, did the Kickstarter. But I think they still paired with Right Stuff even on the initial release. See, Piper and, needs to get on uh, yeah. Cheeky Angel. They do. Or, I, or, I've or already geez, Zetsuba Sense has already been. Yeah, Zetsuba Sense again. has been claimed, finally. And, of course, now they don't have to worry about Aiken because, you know, Media Blast. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be picking on that one. <laughs> Wait until one of us gets the pickup. Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> I, I, but that series is insanely expensive right now. Oh, yeah. But um, anyway, <laughs> that's it? 
That's it. All right. Well, kind of a short one this week, but our other video is going to be really long. So there you go. Yeah, I figure it's good that we move quick. <laughs> yep, yep. So in any case, All right. I hope you've enjoyed this. Click that like button. Mm -hmm. Hit that subscribe. Mm -hmm. Share it out. And let us know in the comments below mm -hmm. what you're planning on checking out and picking up out of this time yes. or anything we missed i mean we do miss things from time mm -hmm. to time and uh, i have been improving things there mm -hmm. actually were a couple of things that did skip my i mean like the furies mm -hmm. there's one and the sonata those two were not on the regular list really so i'm kind of glad again i'm glad mm -hmm. that i'm looking up these things and checking it out because yeah. i do admit, there are a few that have Make been missed by check amazon it twice Exactly, you gotta do it. Gotta do it these days, especially yep. when they're trying to push more and more streaming down your throat. <sighs> so, so Doctor Streaming works for Amazon now. Apparently, well, oh. he did. He did escape and did one of our reviews for us, and uh, then left. Uh, maybe that was what he was doing. Maybe he offered to do a review for me if I let him go, and then mm -hmm. I let him go. Ah, <sighs> what are you thinking, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> any case uh with that being said mm -hmm. i hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one Goodbye.